it's my first day and I'm super nervous like I don't know why like I'm so worried that um, I'm gonna do something wrong and they're gonna hate me but we'll see I'm really early as well like it's like an hour before I'm meant to start but I'm gonna go into some shops that are nearby um, to do some like retail therapy um, I moved around my room so I want to get some new things for it it is a Wednesday and I'm gonna be working like Wednesday Friday and Sundays which is actually quite a good schedule for me I wanted something that wasn't too many hours but it was also um, enough to earn a reasonable amount of money so um, yeah are you going there you are I feel like I'm dressed really extra for today um, I've got my new jacket on, it's like a cord jacket and it's got fur on the inside but it's so warm um, and then I've just got like all black like turtleneck black jeans because I'm meant to be getting a uniform but I don't have it yet so um, yeah this is what I'm wearing but I have a feeling that when I walk in I'm just gonna look Ooh. so I feel a little bit more relaxed but my driving is showing that I'm definitely not relaxed I'm a bit unsure about the car park that's why also why I'm leaving so early because I think I don't have any cash so I'm gonna have to pay for the car park by phone but I'm not actually sure that this car park does that like I, I don't know whether that's an option so that'll be interesting I'm hoping that they do because otherwise I'll have to find somewhere else to park which will be a pain but um yeah, I think I think we'll be alright. So that's how today is going. I've had a pretty good morning, if I'm honest. Um, I what did I do this morning? Can't actually remember. I got up at like ten, and then I've just been doing some YouTube stuff, some editing, and then I had lunch. And then I sat at my new like windowsill um, makeup desk and I did my makeup which took me like 45 minutes but I think it was more because I was using a new area so I had to try and find everything um, and then I was meant to go for a walk with my niece and nephew and my mum but I wasn't sure about like parking and stuff so I said that I would leave early and then yeah so that's led us to now I always clutch control it and it's like I always rely on that you know like hoping that my clutch control is good enough to not put my handbrake on which is quite risky. We rely on that a lot, which probably isn't, I wouldn't recommend it, but I just can't be bothered to put my handbrake on most of the time, so, you know. Um, I'm like, my heart's going a little bit, I'm quite, quite nervous. I am not excited about Valentine's Day tomorrow, even though other people might. I might do a video on like, how to enjoy Valentine's Day alone because I thought that that might be quite fun for us to do together, you know? You fucking idiot, don't go over the road. Go. So many people. Right, so now I'm gonna try and figure out how on earth I'm meant to pay by phone. I'm looking this way because there is a guy right next to me and he will be able to see me filming. Um, yeah, so I will see you after my shift and hopefully it goes well. Hi guys, so I have just finished my shift at Hobbycraft and I know it's really dark in this car but it can't be helped. I don't know how to um, you know, add some light into this space. 
so yas but it's my first day first day done and i had quite a good time if i'm being honest um it wasn't too busy it was pretty chilled and um i shouldn't have done that um it was pretty chilled so it was pretty easy and um I did some training and then I did just a bit of tidying and then I'm assuming like next shift I'll be doing a bit more. I just had to get the training done so that they could say I've done that. Um, but yeah, it was good. And the hours are just so good for me because it means that I've got the chance throughout the day to do everything that I need to. So, because on a Wednesday I do four till eight then friday is six till ten and sunday is one till five so it's quite a good rotor and then they have opportunities for overtime so if i did need the money i could do more um so yeah it's pretty pretty good so i'm on my way back i don't know whether to go to tesco's or not I haven't decided yet I might do I'm, I'm probably gonna because I haven't had dinner so I'm quite hungry um ah oh, but I have to tell you about what happened on the way to Hobbycraft so earlier today I didn't have any cash and I assumed that they would take pay by phone so I didn't stop for cash and then I realized when I got to the retail park that they do not take pay by phone so I had to find some cash I went into Costa I bought a hot chocolate and a packet of crisps in hope that they would do cash back and they did not so she told me the woman that was serving me told me about a cash machine and she said it's not that far away you can you can go get some cash out and it will take you two seconds so I um, went got cash out and then because it was a ten pound note it would not go in the car parking machine so I decided that I was gonna go into B&M and try and spend some of that ten pound to try and get some change and that failed because I went in I bought a bar stool because I've recently moved around my room and I needed a bar stool and I asked the woman if I could pay by card and then just get change for the 10 pound like her just give me 10 pounds worth of change and she said yeah that's fine I'll do that for you and then she puts the transaction through and she's taken the 10 pounds off like taken it off of the amount that I owed on the card so that wasn't what I wanted and um, yeah so we we then had like 13 pounds to pay and I paid that and then I had no cash so I still could not pay for the car park and she then told me after me of like panicking for like half an hour about parking she then told me that if you work in the retail park you just register your car like your registration and you get free parking like all the time even if I'm not working and I said I was like why wasn't I told about this like why have I never heard about this and she just said oh like you have to go and ask your manager for it so I put a free ticket because this car park is like a two hours free area I put the two hours free on there and then I went in got my manager to sign me up and everything was fine, but it was just the panic of running around, trying to get cash, trying to get cash back. Like, it was just so painful. I was like, why is this so hard? Like, why don't they do pay by phone? It makes it so much easier for those of us that do not have cash. But you know, that wasn't an option. So we're going to Tesco's by the way, it's happening because I'm hungry and we all know that buying stuff when you're hungry is not the best idea, but we're doing it. You're really wide, like you need to move in. Damn. Oh, there's the codfather. Do I get codfather 
or an all. There's some people outside Tesco's and they're gonna see me filming, which is annoying, so I can't do what I wanted to do. Right, so we're going into Tesco's and I will see you in a bit. Oh shit. Right, so I just got some snacks from Tesco's because I'm gonna be filming late tonight because it's already like half eight. So um, I'm gonna need Red Bull, I'm gonna need some snacks because we don't wanna be running on empty and filming, you know? I got some curly fries, I got, um, what did I else I get? I got some vegan like cocktail sausages, the th like I love them so much. I got popcorn, like so much good stuff. I'm gonna be sat on my new stool, so that'll be exciting. Why did you park there? That's so annoying. Oh, and you, and you fucking parked there. No one is parked in their space. You know when you just want people to park in their, why is my car not going into reverse? We're not in gear, but we're gonna, we're just gonna roll back because my car's not going into reverse. Right. So that's that. Oh, you can't see me now. Um, we're back. So I hope you enjoyed seeing me nervous on my first day and then seeing how not nervous I am afterwards. I really enjoyed it and I can't wait to go back on Friday. So yeah, um, I will see you later. Thanks for watching and um, please like, subscribe, comment, let me know what you thought of this. I would really appreciate it. Um, I love replying to people's comments and hearing what they thought of my videos. So yeah, and um, I'll see you in two days. Bye.